Welcome to lesson eight in the Google Sheets for Beginners uh, lesson series. This is my absolute favorite topic or favorite thing to use in Google Sheets uh, or any spreadsheet software, and that's filters. Using filters can really just help you uh, grind down to get, pull the information you need. Sometimes you are looking at this huge spreadsheet with tons of data, but you need to know something specific like how many females uh, between the ages of 25 and 30 are there on this list of people who've signed up for this class? Just a random example. Using filters, you can do that. You can get that information really easily. So um, I'm going to show you uh, how you can filter information. And there will be future lessons that will kind of come back to this and show you how you can uh, easily get the uh, count information you need from it. But uh, right now we're just gonna talk filters. So let's jump over to the spreadsheet. I'm gonna jump out of the way here and uh, let's get to it. So uh, there's two ways you can uh, apply filters to your data. One is to highlight your entire table or just the entire sheet. Um, and then once you do that, you can go up here to the top to data and you click data and then you go to create a filter. And you'll see these little slatted arrows pop up uh, on the headings for you. Now I'm gonna undo that. The other way you can create filters is by simply, and this is the way you'll probably use the most, is go up here to your little editing bar and just click the filter button create a filter. Automatically creates the filters for all the headings. Um, so quite easy. Now let's jump over to one of our other spreadsheets. Um, this is the student info spreadsheet. Uh, you can, if you want to create a filter for a single column, you can. So I could highlight this column and then I can go to data, create filter. And you'll see it created a filter and Google's always giving me reminders. In case I forget to mention this, this little cloud up here, it shows you the status. So it helps you know if for some reason you weren't connected to the internet and your work wasn't being saved, uh, this gives you your status. Um, but you still have this thing in the middle that tells you uh, what's going on. But this gives you the status. So it tells you um, this is about offline use because you can set documents from Google Sheets to download to your computer to use offline. Um, but we're not discussing that. Anyway, that's what that pop-up was about. As you can see, by highlighting this single column and then going to data and create filter, I have a filter, but only on this column. That little slotted arrow doesn't show up anywhere else, only on the single column. So uh, that's just showing you the ways you can do it. You could also do it, if I unclick that, you can also select a uh, column and then hit the create a filter button, which is probably the easiest way. But honestly, there's not many times, really no reason that I can think of why you ever need to create a filter on a single column. Because if you just create the filter for the whole sheet, the whole data table, you, you can use it on the column you wanted to use it on. You don't have to use it on any of the other columns, but it being there doesn't hurt anything. So um, yeah, honestly, I don't know why anyone would ever need to just do one column. It's easiest just to be inside your table, go up here and click the filter button and you turn them on or turn them off. So you see, I click it again, it turns it off, click it again, it turns it on. And it highlights this entire area so you know, okay, this is all the data that's being considered as part of this filter. But pretty much anything that's in your table it's going to do. So let's see, let's, let's talk about different things you can do once you have filters on there. One thing you can do is you can sort. Now before we did some sorting uh, by using the, the sort feature, but with filters you can sort without having to use any other uh, feature. I can just go to name, filter, and I can say sort A to Z. And you see it sorts A to Z and it sorts the entire table because the filters are applied to the whole table. So I can go back to grade now and I can say sort grade by A to Z. Now it sorts grade by A to Z. So you can sort uh, 
any criteria you want to use to sort you can just by using filters now we can go up here to month of birth and I can create that and I can say sort by A to Z or we can get you know more creative by using filters so I can go down here and this is what filters are really great for you see all the months that are available they're checked because they're showing everything I can choose what I want to see so I can hit clear you know uncheck them all or select all it will select them all but I'm gonna hit clear and I'm gonna say I just wanted to see the birthdays that are in May so I'm gonna check May and click OK now on this list I filtered out anyone whose birthday is not in May. All I see is the birthdays that are in May. That is what fil that is the strength of filters. And that is what make fil makes filters so awesome. Now I can go back here and I could say, well, um, I also want to know June and July. I want to know May, June, and July. So I click OK. Now I have a list of all the people on this list who have birthdays in May, June, or July. If I want, I can sort them. So we're still filtered. Now I'm gonna sort by gender. So now we have a list of only people whose birthdays are in May, June, or July, but it's sorted by their gender. Or I can say, you know what? I only wanna see the uh, 12th graders who have a birthday in May, June, or July. So I go over here and I clear and then I just select 12th and there you go. Now I'm using two filters and you can see how that little icon changes to show you data is being, this chart or this table is being filtered based on data in this column. Any any column that is not does not have a filter applied to it, just shows the little uh, separated arrow uh, lines and then once a filter has been applied it actually shows you the filter uh, icon that filter icon right there means there's a filter on this data so if you look at a spreadsheet and you're like I feel like something's missing if there are filters on there that you want to look and see you know are there is any data being filtered out so I could look here and I could go to click this filter and say oh well yeah I'm not seeing 11th and 12th graders in this because they're being filtered out. I mean, 10th and 11th graders, only 12th graders on this list. Now, if you undo a, one filter, so let's say I take this filter off, I say select all, meaning show everything in this column. It doesn't take away the other filter. The other filter is still there. So I'm, if I go here, I'm still only seeing 9th and 12th graders. I could add in 10th and 11th and then I would see them all or I can take away all of them except for ninth graders but each filter is independent of the other so that's something to uh, uh, keep in mind but this allows you to really granularly get down to what you really need there might be a situation in and like this where you needed you have this list of students data you're working with but you only need to know specifically ninth graders whose birthday is a certain month or ninth graders uh ninth grade guys you just need the ninth grade guys and you could take off female now we have a filter based on grade ninth graders only and based on sex male only so now you have your list of all the males also a good way to count if you uh if you need to know how many and that we'll get to that in a later lesson a, a quick way to to count those type of things but that is the basic way that filters work. Uh, I'm going to select all on all of these now. Also, you can go up here and you can, I think you can turn, yeah, just turn off the filters. That clears them all. So uh, if you have filters on and you filter data, you turn this off, it'll take away all your filters. So now all your data is back here. So let's look at another way you can filter that's kind of cool. Um, I'm going to turn filters back on and we're going to go to filter and we're going to say filter by condition. So there's different conditions you can use. Is empty, is not empty, text contains, date is before, date is after, gr greater than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, 
um, all these are available to you. So you can filter uh, based on all these. I'm not gonna do this for birth month because I don't think that's the best one to do. Uh, let's do grade. Now this is not gonna be the best example because there's only four grade levels here, so it's quite easy. But let's say this was something where you had a range of data. Uh, and we'll, you, I'll use a better example, more complex example in a minute. But we'll just say greater than. Um, or we'll say greater than or equal to. So we want just 11 and 12. So we'll say greater than or equal to 11. And I click OK. And you see only 11 and 12 remain because it's anything that's greater than or equal to 11. Uh, again, that's a simplified version, but let's go to one of these other spreadsheets that I haven't used yet, the movie database. So this is in the resources that uh, uh, I had the link to in the last video. And this is a huge spreadsheet. This is a list of movies and genres and dates they were released and the type of movie and who is in the movie and you know all kinds of craziness. Um, lots of information here. So I'm gonna click the filter button to put filters on all this stuff. So here's a good one, release date. So I can go here and I can say filter by condition and I can say date is after. And then I can pick an exact date. So I'm gonna say the date is after 01 012010 oh, and click OK. So now this list contains, you'll see all the dates here are dates of movies after 2010. Now honestly I don't remember if there were any movies that were before 2010 so I'm gonna say date is before 01-01-2010 and click OK. Nope. Well, it did filter because there are none before that. So there you go. You can see that it works. But let's try again. Let's say date is after and let's say 2017. Did I say before? Nope, I said after. Let's clear this filter out. Go none. If you change the condition to none, that means no condition. So all the dates are here. Let's see. And you do see these dates go all the way. They are all in the 2010s. It looks like 2012 movie, the latest latest date but perhaps they're not the uh, Google Cheats isn't quite seeing it as a date so let's let's just try again let's go date is after and we're gonna say after exact date and we're gonna say 01 01 2016 There we go. So it worked that time. I don't know why it wasn't working the first time. I think because I messed up with my initial date setup. But you can see now this whole chart, and this is a huge chart with tons of data. And now it only has uh, movies that were released after 2016. Obviously that was the last date because there's none from 2017. There's only movies that were released after 1-1-2016. Now we could change that. We could say 1-1-2015 and click OK. And now you see it has a list of movies from 2016 and 2015. What's cool is you can now come up here and say, I want to sort this information A to Z. Now you only have movies that were released in 2015 or 2016 and they're in uh, order of date of release. 15 first and then 16. So, uh, and this is just one filter. Now that we've done that, we could say, well, we just wanna know uh, the 
uh, comedies that were released during those uh, two years. So you clear and then just select comedy and select OK. Now you can see these are all the comedies that were released after, what's our filter? A date after 1-1-2015. So 2015 and 2016, these were all the comedies. So you can really, really nail this down. This is com genre two anyway, is comedy. There's a genre one and a genre two. I don't know why. But uh, you can see it's really easy to get very specific um, about these type of things, uh, which is really great. I'm gonna turn these filters off to erase them, then turn filtering back on. Uh, now we have all our data back. And I'm gonna go up here and uh, we're gonna go filter by condition again. Actually, let's get out of that one. Let's go to a different, we'll go up to, go to genre two again, filter by condition. See some of the other options that are here. Uh, is empty, is not empty. So if you just, sometimes you have charts that have, you know, there's empty data in there in, the, in that column. You can only see the ones that are not empty. Uh, text contains, text does not contain. Um, so let's do that one. Let's go over to, uh, let's see, actor. So cast, so cast one. Um, let's go to cast one and let's say, we want to see only things uh, that contain, and we'll say Tom. So only uh, movies that under cast one have Tom. And we're gonna click okay. And you can see Tom Hanks, Tom Hardy, Tom Cruise, anything that contained Tom is still in our data table, still in our list. Anything that did not contain Tom is now no longer in our list. So really uh, cool the way you can uh, get all of this information down. Now I'm gonna go back to this and click none and click okay and that restores all the information. So let's go back over to the uh, student info. It's a little bit of a simpler uh, thing to work with. We're gonna go here and click none and click OK. So we go back to our normal and then we're gonna go you can see uh, how you can also filter by if you were using colors you could filter by color. We don't have any color right now but I'm gonna throw some fill color in there. Um, how this might be used is if you had a sheet where you had highlighted maybe uh, certain rows you, you, you were highlighting based on, uh, I don't know, information you were looking for. These are people that you really needed to contact for some reason, so you had singled them out and you had highlighted them. So I can go here to student number and go filter by color, fill color, it knows the fill colors that are in this chart and yellow and white are the only options. I choose yellow, it filters out all the others. So you can filter even by color uh, if you have a fill color. And then you can also filter by the text color if you have different text color uh, in your uh, cell. So a lot of different things that you can uh, filter by. Uh, really a great way to get down to exactly what you need uh, inside of your chart and narrow it down. Now, one thing that's kind of cool or one thing you will need to know is uh, that you can, uh, once you've filtered, you can copy this chart with just the information that's showing and paste it somewhere else because you might need to do that. You may need to copy this information and paste it into a separate uh, sheet all its own. So remember to create a new sheet, you click the little plus button there. So I'm gonna create a new sheet and then I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna hit uh, Control V for paste, Control V uh, or Command V if you're on a Mac and you see it pasted just that information. Now there's no filters up here because it didn't copy that whole table, it just copied what was currently displayed, just copied the information that we had filtered down to. So a lot of times you need to take a huge sheet filter down to a certain amount of information and then take that information, put it into an, another sheet and you can do that really easily that way. So uh, now that we got that over here, now this is just this information and we can do whatever we need to do with it. 
um, really easy way to uh, copy over just the information that uh, you need from a huge chart. And then I can go back here and I can select all and go to the filter by color none and there we go. Now we've got it all back. Or of course I could just turn off filters and that would give us all the information back. So that's uh, the basic way that you're gonna use filters. Um, trying to think if there's any other, there's just, there's a lot of different things you can do depending on what's inside of a uh, uh, chart. Oh, let's go to that other little simple chart that we have. Yeah, this one with the money. So if you go here and now I say filter by, uh, filter by condition, uh, you can see that the other things you can use, text contains, you could say specifically text does not contain, text starts with. So if you wanted uh, only people whose name started with the letter T for whatever reason, you could do that. Text ends with, text is exactly, that means the entire text inside the cell. So when we did the Tom, we just said text contains. That means that cell had to contain T-O-M in it. Um, but if we had text is exactly, that would mean that that had to match exactly that. Um, date is before, date is after. Uh, you can also use greater than, less than. So we could say, you know, let's say less than, and then say uh, five. So anyone who has paid less than $5 at this point and click okay. And that would give us a list of all the people who have not even paid five dollars yet. Now on a list this small, that's not that many, it's not that big of a deal, but on a much bigger list, if you had a you know 200 people you're trying to keep up with the payments and you need to send an email out to just those who haven't paid at least half half of the money, then you could filter out just less less than half of whatever they owe and you'd get this chart. And if you had email addresses here, you'd have those email addresses you needed to send the email out to just those people who have paid less than half. So there's lots of ways to drill down, again, using multiple filters on multiple columns to drill down even more specifically. Um, don't forget, you can also sort um, using the filters. So you can always sort just using the filters. Uh, you can filter by color. You can filter by all these various conditions. I'm gonna click none so we get back to normal. And then you can also filter by values, uh, which if that's not showing, you just click the arrow and it shows. Uh, you can select all or clear to select none and then go down and just individually pick the ones you want to show. Um, if there's a lot of things in this list, you can search for them. So for example, if I click 10, uh, nothing, if I, let's try, it probably needs to be exact. Yeah, so if I click dollar sign 10, then it shows me that's one of the options. So I can click that and it will check that for me automatically. So if you are looking for, and you can see it stays checked. So if you have a long list, you don't know what's in it, You this is just a search field to be able to search through the list of things you can check. Um, so you can get specific with exactly what you want or you can select all once you're back ready to see everything. Um, but anyway, that's filters. Hopefully that made sense. Uh, I wanted to go show you bunches of different things so that you can really see, I mean, you can use this for so much. A lot of times people might try to come up with some uh, uh, super complex uh, formula to try to pull out of a table uh, how many people owe this much money or different things and Using filters, you can accomplish a lot of that stuff without even knowing a lot of complex formulas. You can just go through and filter down to what you need. Uh, filter down to this specific grade, then filter down to this specific uh, gender, then filter down to this specific age based on birth date is greater than or whatever uh, to get, get exactly the information you need out of this huge uh, database and we're using small databases up that movie when you saw the movie one was huge uh, and that's what's great about this if you have a list of you know 
2,000 people, you can still use filters to filter down to just that small group of people that you need to know for whatever you're doing. Um, so filters to me are absolutely one of the most powerful ways to uh, use uh, sheets um, and use it with a database in order to get the information that you need or get it displayed in terms of sorting uh, the way you need to. So we'll probably be coming back and using filters uh, a little bit throughout the rest of the course uh, just as we uh, demonstrate different things. Um, but this is the main uh, uh, lesson covering filters um, so hopefully i explained it well i tried uh, if there's something that was confusing to you or something you don't understand feel free to put a question in the comments below um, i do my best to try to get uh, answers to you and, and respond to those as quickly as i can uh, if and when i can um, but if i can't maybe somebody else uh, who sees your question can um, you know we all help out each other um, and I'm glad to help out any way I can uh, because filters are definitely uh, one of the most useful features uh, in spreadsheets. So that's filters. Uh, that's it for this lesson. Uh, like I said, make sure you go practice. Uh, you have your uh, resources from before. Click that. Make sure you've got those in your drive. Go over and practice these things. Make up your own filters of things you want to try for conditions or just for how you want to use it. just play with it play with it use it you can't mess anything up um, just see uh, uh, see what you can do make sure you understand how they work because um, that's what's gonna really benefit you uh, in the long run uh, with spreadsheets especially uh, knowing how to use filters um, anyway that's it don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to check out all my videos uh, do product reviews and sometimes tips and tricks on electronics other times just vlogging on little things that are going on in my life so feel free to subscribe to that I can favorite this playlist so that you uh, have this specific Google Sheets uh, playlist in your uh, YouTube playlist that you can go to and look up new uh, lessons in this playlist and uh, don't forget to hit that like button because um, that's good for me when you do or if you really hate me you can click the dislike button too um, anyway that's it until next time uh, so have a great day